Recently, I picked up the Creality Falcon 2 Pro enclosed laser. Mine's 22 watts. You can get it in 40 watts with a 1.6 watt additional laser on it. Um, the way I have it, it's about $1,099 at the time of upload. Pretty good. It's got all kinds of cool features. You can watch my other video for that. I just wanted to show you some stuff I made with it. Now, this isn't the best quality, and this is not the fault of the laser. I forgot to turn over scan on and set a percentage. That is entirely my fault. That's why you kind of see the burning here on the ends. But I was able to cut this. It's what? One, two, three, four, five layers. A little Super Mario fun. Um, yeah, like I'm pretty happy with this. Because I did have overscan on, like the mushroom looks a little weird and, you know, the text. But other than that, pretty cool, right? And that's just three millimeter basswood. Let's get that out of the way. So this is something I really like about the laser. It has a camera, right? So let me turn the laser on real quick. And I apologize for the fan sound. We're here in the software. And we can come over here to camera control. Over here. And I'll give you screenshots of this too so you can see it a little bit better. But now it's got a little preview of the camera. And then I can come over here. Where's it at? To update overlay. And now it shows me what is in the laser. And then I can come right in here and you know, I can put my text on whatever and everything. Um, so yeah. And this will show in like real time up here. But I can do the overlay as like a static image. And if I go over here to the laser, and I'll just move one of these, and then we'll update the overlay again. And there, it's moved. So you can move stuff around and get it lined up how you want. But like, isn't that so cool? Like, it's amazing. Yeah, so see, then there you go. There's your, your little burn exactly where you wanted it. Like, how cool is that, right? I just love that. So let me show you again with some um, odd scrap pieces. But we had the spoons in there and I removed them. So now we're gonna come back over to camera control. And then we'll just update our overlay. And now you have this. So like I could come down in here and say I wanted to do that spice right there, but I've got this sugar and say I needed it to be, if I can grab it, there we go. So now say I wanted it there or I needed to move it up here cause I'm trying to use this wood. And it's just like, it's, it's awesome. Um, you could see this a lot better if I had overhead lighting, but I don't have overhead lighting in the garage. But even the lighting in it, like, is more than adequate for figuring out where your stuff is. So that's not a fault of the laser, that's just the fault of my garage. But yeah, no, I love this thing. It's just a great feature. And as we go forward in this video, I used it a couple of times to like line stuff up, you know, do the thing. I just, it's great, it's a great feature. So I tried some six millimeter wood here. Came out pretty good. Um, I would have done it much larger, but I didn't want to waste a bunch of wood on, on this project and I had this piece of scrap. So I thought, hey, why not? Uh, this is the Indianapolis temple for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, I lost a little bit of the detail there, but that's just because I shrunk it down so small. Like Moroni there is really hard to see. You might remember seeing him on the Nauvoo in um, oh gosh, what's the name of that show? The Expanse, based on the books. So yeah, six millimeter wood. This is just basswood again. Um, you know, it's pretty hard. But that came out really nice. And then you could just like spray paint this and do whatever you wanted to it. Make a magnet out of it, who knows. Whatever floats your goat, as they say. I showed some of these in another video, um, my unboxing video, but you got Michael Myers right there on a knife. You've got uh, Robert England there as Freddy. You have Jason on a machete. You have, what is his name, Pennywise from It. You have the Scream mask from Scream on the combat buoy, just like in the movies there. And then you have kind of a decorative knife here with Chucky. Pretty cool. Um, if you wanted to get rid of that discoloration on the back, you could play with the settings a little, or you could just come in with some sandpaper and just sand it right off because it's just right there on the surface. And yeah, pretty
pretty cool. And last but not least, I did do it. I tried cutting some acrylic, some black acrylic here. Some lasers have trouble with that. This one did not. And then I went ahead and engraved it. Um, get the good lighting. There you go. There's the screen face. Pretty cool, huh? And I tried it at a different speed for the engraving. If I can get it to show up in the light. There we go. So yeah, you can definitely engrave with it. You'd want to play around with it. I haven't quite figured out the best setting for this acrylic. Every acrylic's a little bit different, uh, both colors and the kind of acrylic, how it's made and everything. But yeah, overall, I am very, very happy with this. Um, I guess I could show you a couple more materials real fast. Um, moving on, I tried some of these aluminum dog tags. This one I aborted because I realized the detail was just too fine for how much I shrunk it down. Normally you can see like their skeletons and a little bit of their guts, but at this size, it's just not feasible because everything kind of blends in. So I started over on the other side, just did a little alien on there. I apologize for it being off center. I somehow bumped the laser and was too lazy to get up and go check to see that it was in the right position and too lazy to refresh the camera. So that's why it's off center. But yeah, if you have these anodized tags, maybe the anodized business cards, um, totally viable to do this. You need them to be coated with something. You could probably use like a clear matte spray on here and it would do the same thing. But these anodized things, I think I paid like 10 or 12 cents for these on AliExpress or maybe even Amazon, about like a hundred of them. Um, so I was playing around with them and yeah, that worked out pretty good. So I have a ton of these slate coasters and I like doing them. I had not tried this before, but you get a matte spray, um, like spray paint kind of spray and you spray it on and then you laser it and it really does. People always said, you know, it makes the detail pop much more. Oh man, I'm going to redo everything I've done now. It just pops so good with that spray. And this is just a Highland cow and he's just sitting on the toilet reading the newspaper. My wife has a thing for Highland cows. Um, our bathroom has a Highland cow floor rug, Highland cow uh, shower curtain. And then I got her um, a bunch of 3D printed cows because it's kind of like a, uh, an inside joke for uh, people, people of my religious background. So I gave her a bunch of cows because she's, uh, she's a pretty special lady. So I wanted to take a stab at some leather with this, if I can get it in the light there. There we go. Um, I did go a little too powerful and a little too fast on this side. But hey, that's okay, because we had another side. So this is the unfinished side. I slowed things down and lowered the power just a hair. And then, yeah, this came out really, really nice. If you were gonna do this, um, I'd still probably tweak it down just a little because this is pretty deep, maybe deeper than you'd want. But you could do this to like um, a belt, a wallet, a patch, a jacket, you know, pretty much anything you can think of that's leather. You could also do synthetic leathers as long as they were laserable. Uh, make sure they don't have PVC in them because you don't want to laser PVC. But there's plenty of laserable uh, vegan leather out there if that's your thing. I just had some actual cow leather here. Thought I'd give it a shot. So I wanted to see how it would do cardboard. And I went with my tried and true, my living hinge. It works pretty stinking nice. It did really good there. It punched through. Um, didn't burn it. There's no like burning or smoky anything and it just it works so nice i did try some of the other patterns that i've never got to work with with wood and same thing here they just don't work very well uh, that's not the laser's fault that's just the design's fault if you know any better designed living hinges let me know because i i think they're fascinating here's another one same kind of deal this is not very great um, normally the wood would snap right there so it's doing a little bit better than the wood 
and then this one actually snapped when I took it off. But, you know, maybe if I made this much larger, it would work. But you get the idea. It does cardboard. I also kind of messed around here trying to make some stencils um, and to see if I could engrave it. I, I couldn't find a good setting to engrave because it always punches through, even there at the weakest. But if you had luck engraving cardboard, let me know. But it would make a good stencil. You can see right through her there. You'd maybe want to clean up the eyes a little. But if you made that bigger, you wouldn't have had that issue. And then you could just do and do some, some stuff. I did kind of get it to engrave here. Um, but not not quite. And this is where I messed up. And I put a square around it to cut it and I accidentally had it to fill. So <laughs> make sure you know what you're doing with your laser software. Uh, I, I There's so many settings always. And, you know, I tweak something for one thing and then I forget. And I've got a bunch of my colors saved to different things for layers and yada, yada, yada. And I just got in a hurry and that was my fault. But yeah, cardboard is good to go. I really love this laser. It's, it's pretty great. Um, you know, Creality, they make a bunch of different stuff, but this, this laser is definitely something that I'm quite happy I have. I'm going to use it a lot. I love the camera. I love how powerful the fan is. I don't have to use an additional fan to like get the smoke farther away. Like it, it puts out through the exhaust and you know, I love that it has a protective case lid thing. I can see in there. I can see everything that's going on. I, I know that my, my burn or my engrave or my cut is going well. And it's just, it's wonderful. Um, it's got a nice footprint. It does a decent size for cutting. It's my biggest footprint, I think, laser, working area, biggest working area laser. But it's not my biggest footprint, go figure. And yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this. I'll have links to it in the description and in the sticky comment. If you have any preferred settings for this, I have the the lower power one. Like, please let me know in the comments. Even if you have like the 40 watt one, let me know. Uh, tell me what your favorite thing about it is. Tell me what you've done with it. Um, let me know what kind of projects you want to see with it or what kind of projects you've been doing with yours. I, I thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I know I'm not the best at this, but I'm learning. I've got a bunch of lasers now and we're figuring it out. And yeah, man, I really love Super Mario. I'm going to have to go play this here in a minute. It's just such a great game. So much of my childhood was spent on that game. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you for stopping by.